That's recording. Zimbabwe is a small, landlocked country in the southeast region of Africa. It is formerly known as the British Colony of Rhodesia until it declared itself as its own separate country, the Republic of Zimbabwe, in which they no longer had any ties to Britain in April of 1980. However, sovereignty had its own set of problems. Problems that get in any country into a spiral of instability from the way the leaders are chosen all the way to the length average citizens have to do in order to survive. The Zimbabweans still face multitudes of problems. Even now, diseases are spreading faster than wildfire through the nation's adults, placing a hefty toll on the populace. Over 20% of Zimbabwean adults are currently infected with the HIV AIDS virus. Zimbabwe's current elected president, Robert Mugabe, is ensuring that he, his inner circle of colleagues, and a wealthy few are living in some of the most leisurely and luxurious conditions possible. However, these conditions are at the expense of the general public. Those at the top are living the life everyone else in Zimbabwe isn't faring so well. Thanks to Mugabe, about 80% of the population is left unemployed and about half the population is facing the threat of famine. Because of the mistakes made by the government, the, ci the citizens of Zimbabwe are struggling for survival every day. For the majority of Zimbabwe's population, fresh water is in high demand, but us is hoarding most of what little fresh water that Zimbabwe has. We can't change the climate, but we can tell Zimbabwe's government to make and take a plan of action so that the public has an easier access to fresh, clean water. So what can we do to help this problem? In Zimbabwe's current state, they can use all the help we have to offer. Through offering both political and material resources, we, we can all make an impact for the better of Zimbabwe and the crisis they're currently in. Thanks to today's level of technology, we can now create affordable, easy to use, and effective water purification systems. Our system requires thermal tubing, an airtight heating unit, and a source of cool water, such as a lake or river. The design that we have come up with is for mass production of clean, drinkable water. The method that we are using to purify the water is distillation. Our system has cold water from the rivers of Zimbabwe running through the tubes inside a hot, humid housing unit. The unit consists of a single heated chamber with one-eighth filled with the dirty water that needs to be purified. As the dirty water heats up in the unit, it undergoes a process known as evaporation. This process occurs when water molecules get hot enough so that the heat energy in them causes the molecules to move around. Thus, the distance between them increases. If distance is great enough, the water molecules will be so far apart that it will become a gas. Then the water vapors will fill the air of the unit. As the cold water from the rivers is flowing through the tubes in the housing unit, the water vapors from the bottom will condense onto the outside of the cold tubes. This is because the hot water vapors from inside the housing will lose their energy due to the cold tubes and go back to being water. Once enough water condenses onto the tubes, they'll group together and join at the lowest point on the tubes. This is due to gravity. As the water condenses onto the tubes, it'll form droplets and fall into the thermal resistant containers. When the containers are full, the now clean water is harvested and sent all over the country. The reason that the water is now clean is because as the water evaporates and becomes vapors, it leaves behind all of the impurities, such as bacteria or virus particles. The now cleansed water will then be shipped to all reaches of Zimbabwe. This amount of water will increase the low levels of life that they are faced with every day, because they will have one thing less to worry about in their time of depression. We are confident that our product will be an effective means of producing clean, drinkable water, so that any Zimbabwean citizen, regardless of how wealthy they are or what class they come from, can have access to clean, drinkable water. The current situation in Zimbabwe is pretty dim, but together, 
We can help Zimbabwe become a better place to live. A nation where you don't have to worry about whether or not there's going to be food on the table when you get home. A nation with a streamlined and productive way of life so that there's no wasted resources. A nation with a better future. In Zimbabwe today, it seems to be virtually impossible to turn that nation into a reality. However, that reality is possible. But it's not going to happen all at once. It's going to happen step by step. And we are taking the first step on the long road to Zimbabwe's better future through easier access to clean water, through our water purification system.